feel very lucky to each stage had those people who bothered to tell me keep going and so I tried now to do that for other people um, and it's very easy to see someone who's good and just let them keep going and assume that they know uh, but it actually makes a big difference I think if you tell them <laughs> um, so that every time they doubt themselves they can be like oh no someone told me I was mm -hmm. good. So an exoplanet is basically a planet that orbits a star other than the sun. Um, so someone living uh, on a planet orbiting another star would consider our solar system to be full of exoplanets. And it's kind of amazing that we can study these, because if you think about it, they're, they're these tiny, tiny objects compared to stars and galaxies and things like that. They're absolutely tiny, and yet we can still observe them and learn about their atmospheres and what they're made of. We can detect water vapour in their atmospheres um, and lots of other chemical species and their temperatures. Uh, we can even you know, infer the presence of winds on some exoplanets, which is completely insane when you think about it. <laughs> when things get more difficult, the further you get and when you push through challenges, that's when it you know, I, I certainly start to question, okay, why am I doing this? Is this what I actually want to do? And it's that sort of creative push that, that keeps me going. I think, okay, that's what I like about it. So instead of worrying about all these other things that might be stressful, I'll just try and pair it back to the bit that I like, which is being creative. So, yeah, I come from a very sort of multicultural family. Um, on one side, my family's Belgian. On the other side, we're sort of Indian and French and Vietnamese. It's all a big mix, um, and at home I, I grew up speaking French as well, but then obviously speaking English at school. Um, so yeah, from that point of view, I think I always felt a little bit like an outsider, um, coming from that different cultural background. Um, and yeah, that I think maybe one of the reasons that I always enjoyed science and figuring stuff out, and the fact that it was logical and gave meaning, I think, to the world as well, which is nice. Um, and yeah. uh, I do it around Christmas usually. Um, I need people to eat it, so um, I try to do it. When I did the telescope, I brought it into the office and uh, got all the students and, and people at coffee time to eat it, which is good. Uh, and otherwise, at Christmas, when all the family's home, uh, then I send them off with large chunks of gingerbread. Um, and the thing that I love about the place I'm going is that there is uh, a real mix of different subjects being studied there, all to do with planets. Uh, so you have geologists and people studying solar system planets and people also studying exoplanets, both from the theory side and from observations. And I think it's really important for all these different groups to actually learn from each other, uh, because at the end of the day, we study something in common, but from very different angles. And I think when you um, take the time to work with people who do something in a very different way, it's a great way to learn stuff and come up with new ideas and, and innovate, so I'm really excited for that.